Hey guys, Neomas here. So for today's video, I'm gonna be looking at rumors for Kurt Zuma, Toby Alderweireld, and Dejeni Dakonam are uh, rumored to be linked for our center back solution at Arsenal Football Club. So stay tuned. Finally, Unai Emery has decided to take this defender problem seriously. And it's rumored today in the Daily Express that uh, he is looking at three possible defenders. Four, but one of them in particular that I didn't mention at the start of this video. I didn't think that we had had a chance of really going after. So I won't really go too more on that. But these three defenders in Toby Alderweireld from Tottenham, Kurt Zuma, who's on loan from Chelsea currently at Everton, and then Dijeni Dakonam from Getafe in Liga being three possible names that Arsenal could bring in in order to help with our defensive crisis and also help to replace certain defenders, uh, i.e. Squadron Mustafi. What I thought that I would do is go through a few kind of stats and analysis of these players to see, are they really good enough? Now, we know what the likes of Toby and Kirk could do, but looking at Dejeni, I thought I would do a real good comparison on how all of these three lined up. So looking at the three players in Kurt Zuma, Toby Alderweireld and Dejeni Dakonam, we've got three players, three experienced players uh, who I think would actually be pretty good options in order to help Arsenal with their defensive crisis. You've got the likes of Kurt Zuma currently on loan from Everton, who so far has played 27 games. Uh, a Next to him, we've got Toby Alderweireld, who's played 31. And then Dejeni, who has played 32 games so far for Getafe. All three of them, in terms of minutes, are very much comparable. So we're looking at just under 2,500 minutes for Kurt Zuma, just under 2,800 minutes for Toby Alderweireld, and a little over 2,800 minutes for Dejeni there with uh, Getafe. Tackles on average, we're looking at 1.6 tackles really above for Dejeni, as you can see here from the infographic. Uh, then you got Toby Alderweireld just on 1.1. So Dejeni looks like he's more of a tackler, game, game out of game, and definitely looks like he's would probably do a little bit of a better job tackling wise and maybe on a defensive element than the other two. Now, when you're looking at interceptions, Toby Alderweireld actually isn't that great and his interceptions to games is pretty low when you look at comparison to Kurt Zuma who has an average of one interception, sorry, 1 1.6 interceptions per game and then Dejeni in the lead with two. Uh, so again, adding that defensive element, so tackles and interceptions. Then you look at things like fouls, so uh, they're relatively... Uh, low, particularly for Kurt Zuma and Alderweireld, but Dejeni is actually quite high, which is it's, it's understandable. Offsides, uh, Dejeni gets that once per game, so it looks like maybe he's more of an attacking centre-back. Clearances, again, this is a great factor for looking at defenders, and Kurt Zuma shines in this area with an average of five clearances per game compared to Dejeni's four 4.5 clearances and Kurt Zuma's 3.8. So when it comes to clearances, it looks like Kurt Zuma just falls behind the other two. Dribbles per game, again, maybe not so much, but it does actually show that uh, Dejeni looks like he's maybe he's more of an attacking center back due to the fact that his dribbles per game, it's a little bit higher than the other two with 0 0.5 compared to 0 0.3 for Alderweireld and Kurt Zuma at 0 0.2. Two. Then to another big defensive stat, we've got the blocks. Now, this is, you know, along with tackles and interceptions, this really shows exactly how important this role is for a defender. So we got 0 0.4 blocks there for Kurt Zuma, uh, which is the second ice, along with Dejeni, which uh, is 
the lowest out of the two and Alderviro comes out top with 0.7 blocks per game and then finally we've got overall rating here from whoscored.com and you've got Kurt Zuma they're tied in second uh, along with uh, Dejeni about 6.78 whilst Toby Alderviro gets uh, the most with 6.85 I do understand that, you know, the stats could be a tiny bit skewed just based on the fact that Toby Alderweireld has played more games than the other two. And it's one more game, but depending on how they actually do the, these averages could slightly skew that. But it looks like Alderweireld has come out as the clear winner out of the three center backs. So guys, let me know what you think about all the stats that I showed and the comparisons between all three. Who do you think that we have a better chance of getting out of the three? Do you think that we could cause a serious upset to Tottenham in going after a guy like Toby Alderweireld? Should we go over something at a more of a realistic option like Kurt Zuma or go for a little bit more of an unnamed option in Dijeni Dakonam who could be a potential possible uh, transfer for Arsenal and could be seen as a bit of a dark horse option for Arsenal to get in that defense with his lack of Premier League experience but really interesting to get your thoughts guys leave your comments below would love to actually get a conversation going here please like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time peace <laughs>